नमस्कार वेलकम टू डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट इफ वी लुक इन टू द स्टडीज ऑब्जर्व वेदर देन द स्टडी द लाइट रेनफॉल वाज ऑब्जर्व एट मेनी प्लेसेस ओवर एंड वन निकोबार आइलैंड एंड लाइट रेन एट आइसोलेटेड प्लेसेस वाज ऑब्जर्व ओवर हरियाणा वेस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश राजस्थान मध्य महाराष्ट्र विदर्भा मध्य प्रदेश मराठवाड़ा गुजरात रीजन एंड केरल Yesterday, the thunderstorm also occurred at isolated places over West Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Maharashtra, Vidarbha, East Rajasthan, Coastal Karnataka, and hail storm occurred at isolated places over Rajasthan and northern parts of the Madhya Maharashtra. If we look into today's main chief synoptic features, then today the western disturbance lies as a cyclonic circulation over North Haryana, the Nevarod area, and the wind. Uh, a trough aloft in the middle upper tropospheric levels and in the lower levels a indic cyclonic circulation lies over the southeast rajasthan and in the bay of bengal uh, a cyclonic circulation lies over the southeast and adjoining southwest bay of bengal and adjoining equatorial indian ocean which extends up to the middle tropospheric levels and the today's main uh, highlight of whether is one is the isolated rainfall activity over the maharashtra and another one is the maximum temperature over the northwest and central india so because of the wind confluence and convergence in the lower tropospheric levels the uh, light rainfall in isolated places very likely to continue over the kerala and mahad during next 5 days over coastal karnataka and lakshadweep area during next 2 days and over the light rain uh, over the tamil nadu during 12th 13th and 14th of march and there also will be light rainfall thunderstorm and lightning over the konkan goa madhya maharashtra and marathwada area on 10th of march and in the north india because of the western disturbance over the north haryana and neighborhood there will be the light rainfall or snowfall very likely over jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and uh, uttarakhand during next 24 hour and isolated thunderstorm and lightning activity are also possible over the uttarakhand during next 24 hours and after the 24 hour mainly dry weather will prevail over the entire northwest india if we look into the maximum temperature then the yesterday the maximum temperatures were above uh 35 degree centigrade basically in the range of 35 to 37 degree centigrade over many parts of gujarat kerala mahe telangana and rayalseema and tamil nadu area and the maximum temperatures were above normal by 2 to 4 degree centigrade over many parts of gujarat konkan goa and kerala and mahe if you look into the temperature forecast then there will not be any significant change in maximum temperature over many parts of northwest and central india during the next two days and there will be the gradual rise in maximum temperature by 2 to 4 degree centigrade over northwest and central india from 12th of march and the maximum temperature will gradually rise by 2 to 3 degree centigrade over the gujarat state during the next three days and after the three days there will not be any significant change and except the northwest and central india as well as the gujarat state there will not be any significant change in maximum temperature over remaining parts of the country this is the weather warning in graphical and color coded form so far today we have given the thunderstorm and lightning warning uh, uh, over the uttarakhand uh, south konkan goa and south madhya maharashtra which is given uh, given in the yellow color and after that there is no significant weather over the uh, entire country so no weather warning for the subsequent 4 to 5 days for the entire country you can download the mausam damini and meddute for the location specific forecast lightning alert and agro advisory services you can follow us on our facebook page our twitter page and our instagram page for more detailed weather information thank you